Hello, today I'm going to show you a very, very nice house. It's got either four bedrooms and um, three bathrooms, or it's got a double room which can be used as a five bedroom um, home. Uh, it's a sectional title, but it's got a thousand square meter yard and it's more than 380 square meters under roof. So I'm going to show you the house first and then we'll look at the outbuildings. It has got five garages, plus storage area, plus a carport for a lot of cars. Very neatly tiled. This is lounge with a ceiling fan. It's got a little step up here into your dining room. It's got granite top in the kitchen. With a gas hob. Looks to me to be in an electric oven, oak, oak cupboards, it's got a prep bowl over here and then it's got a separate area for scullery, stroke laundry, neatly tiled, place for machines here. It's got a fireplace down there in the kitchen, up in the lounge and lots of down lighters. This could be one of the bedrooms, or you could use it as a study. It's got built-in cupboards. Um, neatly done. Safety gate over here for the passage. It's got a skylight in the passage. What you can see um, brings a lot of light. Here's another bedroom. Nicely carpeted with a ceiling fan in the bedroom. Very neat, recently painted. Bathroom here with a shower. Quite a tall shower, high shower for a tall person. And then it's got a bath in a basin. And then this is the guest toilet for the house. This is the main bedroom and this is a, a dressing area, a dressing room which goes through onto the main bedroom. You've got cupboards here and you've got cupboards on the right hand side there. Quite a spacious room and it's got an outside door into the back garden and here is a little ensuite with a uh, toilet and a shower. I suppose you could decide if this is the main bedroom or not because there's another area here which could easily be a main bedroom. And that's this room. So it could either be a double a double room because this will be the one part of it and that will be the second part of it. This has also got an outside door goes back into a covered patio by the front door. I just wanted to point out ceiling fan and air conditioner over here. And then it's got cupboards on that side and cupboards down here with an ensuite bath, toilet and basin. So this is that covered area and there is the front door there. This door goes into the double garage. So you can see double garage over here. And another double garage over here. This one's got an extra high door. Um, easily fit the caravan in. Here's the energizer for the electric fence. Um, and you can see this workshop space in this garage as well. There's also a carport, a shade net carport, which I don't know how many square meters it is, but you can see it could possibly fit in two or three cars here. Then also you've got a carport here, which is ideal for storage of a caravan or, or a boat or something like that. 
and this garage um, on the street front is for a motorhome or something like that. Let me walk into the backyard. You can see the beams on the walls. It's got a sliding gate here so you can keep your dogs in the backyard. And you've got this lapa that's built closed with brick. And then it's also got um, a fireplace inside and it's got this sail covering nice lopper with built-in cupboards entertainment area and on this side you'll see there's no electric fence um, but here is a motor, a booster motor and a tank sidecades this side and around this side of the house you can see the aircon that I showed you earlier yeah the motor is and uh, I see it's actually got an outside toilet behind the lean to over here Borehole, not exactly sure how deep it is. Oh, yes, it's got a security light and it's got a security camera on the outside of the house. So, I just wanted to say I think this is a good buy, it's going to sell quickly. It's in Dickinson Avenue, close to the park, close to Cadonia Avenue. Please make an appointment.